Let's start by discussing what merging is and what it does with your files. Branches help you and your team keep your files and edits organized into distinct and separate lines of work. Merging allows you to bring those edits together into one place once the work is finished. Prior to using Abstract, many teams were merging files together, but they were doing it manually, mostly by copy and pasting between files. Merging in Abstract helps automate this process. All branches can merge into one of two places, master or the branch they branched from. We're mostly going to be talking about merging to master in this video, but merging a branch up into its parent branch works the exact same way. In our previous videos about master, we learned how to maintain a source of truth by being intentional and consistent about how we decide when work is done. This means that a project's master is a place for finished and approved work only. That also means that merging a branch into master signals that it's been approved and is ready to be used and implemented by the rest of the team. Let's dig in a little here to see what actually happens to your files, both on master and on your branch, when you merge design work. Remember from our previous videos about branching that every branch starts out as an exact replica of the master or branch that it was created from. So when you branch from master, the files look exactly the same in both places. But after you've committed changes to the files on your branch and have had them reviewed or approved, you want to update master so that it looks like the new approved designs. When you click the Merge Branch button, Abstract compares the files. It ignores any files that you did not change, looks at the files and artboards you did change, and it updates the files in the master to make them match what was in your branch. The end result is that there will be a new commit on master that has all the updates you made to the files and your working branch will be archived. You can go to the Archived Branches tab to get access to merged branches if you want to review the files, look at the branch collections, or continue a thread from that work. So now that you know what to expect with merging, Let's see this in action with our banking sign-in flows. I've experimented with a few different designs and landed on one that I liked, which I shared with my team in this collection. Since this work has been approved by the design team and the product and engineering teams, I think it's time to merge it into the master. On my branch, I can see in this section under changed files that the sign-up or sign-in file is the file that I've changed. Before I merge, I could go over to my files and take a look at the files that I've changed in order to see what I'll be merging, but I've been doing this work recently, so I'm aware of what I'm going to be merging into master. Let's go ahead and merge this branch. I have the option to say anything about this merge that I would like to, but this is not required. So I can go ahead and merge my branch and then archive it. Now that I've merged, you can see that I have been moved to the master tab in my project and there is a new commit in the commit log that shows that my branch has been merged into the master. On this right hand side, I can see previews of what the master file looks like now that I've added my changes. So without a lot of manual work, I've updated my source of truth to reflect the latest approved designs.